guys welcome to today's video i'm trust stanley and this is a ts tech talk video on today's video guys i'm going to show you how to edit on your youtube so if you have a video that you already uploaded on youtube and you do not want to lose the views and you do not want to take it down to edit it probably because it just need to cut some parts or blow out some parts or maybe add some music um, to make it lively or um, let's say you want to trim it from the beginning to the end this video is going to show you just how to do that now um, if you're ready go ahead and open studio.youtube.com and then go actually to um, the content section of YouTube dashboard once you're on YouTube dashboard you go to the content section and then we can start editing any video so just about any video you have if there is so many if there are any errors on the video you can edit it you can cut in between you can cut some part of it you can cut the beginning and the ending add the music blow out some part and then a lot more but um you cannot actually add test to this particular editing area so because it's actually made for um somebody that made a mistake and decide to make editing to it now let's get started now so i'm going to assume on this particular video let's say i actually have um a mistake or i have um something i want to edit in this video right now all i need to do is to click on edit this pencil icon right here to bring in the detail section so you go ahead and click on that and it's going to show you the detail of the video um, from here you can actually edit the title of the video and the um, and the description but that is actually not what we want on this video we actually want to go to the editor so you notice where it says editor just on the left area click on that so once you click on the editor, it's going to actually take you to where I will be able to edit the video content. But this area is actually where you just edit the outside of the video, which is the title, description, and thumbnail. But the main content, which is the video playing, is actually what we want to edit by going through this edit section. So let's wait for that to load up and we start editing. Now it has loaded up, but it's still loading though because it's going to show the preview of the video here. It's going to show the audio and the um, timeline of the video on this timeline section this is the video and this is the audio which is this one right here now if you want to start editing the video you can start doing that making use of this tool if you want to test out the video um, how it previews you can go ahead and click on play I play the game and um, after seven days you will have option to play all right so this is actually how it plays and just note that you can play any timeline of the video by um, toggling through the timeline let's say i went to this area this is actually the beginning of the video and i'm playing it welcome guys so um on my one bath today i'm going to be so you can still go towards the end or at the end this is going to be blocking me let me move this you can go to the end like so and then play the video currently um one point so on my next video i'm going to be showing you guys different things that you can do with your nft right that is actually um how to navigate through the timeline so you can navigate through the timeline making use of this area and also if you want to zoom into a timeline you can make use of these two right here the zoom in and the zoom out you know if you are editing a video if you zoom in it actually allows you more option or more way to control the timeline so you actually have to always zoom in if you are editing a video now let's get started with editing this video so the first thing i'm going to show you guys is how to trim a video you um let's say you want to trim a video let's say from the beginning to the ending so let's say um the video started hold on let me move this to the beginning so let's say the video started from here right now this is actually the intro I just clicked on it this is actually the intro showing the name trust okafor and the video started from here but if you notice if you are a video editor if you notice very well you will notice that my audio started from here but although the video started from here which means this particular area after the introduction there was nothing being said watch until here so it means that from here to here is actually empty that means we are going to be cutting that off because it's just um, taking 
the time of the video and is unnecessary so we do not need that so we are going to take that away but do not worry we can come to that so now before we do that look at this top area the first option is actually trim and cut so if you want to trim and cut your video this is actually where you do that so um to cut your video from beginning to the ending you actually need to make use of this trim now before i do that let me go ahead and zoom out so that you guys could see the timeline properly and also so that i would be able to control um, the movement of the trimming easily so now i can click on the trim and cut when you click on the trim and cut it's just going to load up hold on now it has loaded up now you can notice there is this blue icon uh, there is this blue uh uh, button or let's say objects right here from the beginning to the ending what it actually means is that this video started from here and is going to end here so now if for some reason you wanted the video to start here and then end here you just move this to where you want it to stop and wherever it stop you can always play the video through um, through that area to confirm if you are okay with that particular area so i'm going to play the video right now now you notice the video actually stopped there right the reason why it stopped there is because i moved it from there to that area that is actually not the place the video ended because i always end my video with an outro thank you for watching or maybe see you on my next video so my video did not end here i just moved this to show you guys um tutorial purpose now if you're done with moving your timeline and you decide to actually save it now if you want to save it you are okay with moving this from here to the particular destination you selected and uh, let me move this to this area you are you are actually okay by right? moving this from here to here all you need to do is to click on save now if you don't once you save this video guys if you save any video you edited on your video editor on youtube you will not be able to reverse it so make sure that you actually pay attention to what you are doing and make sure you're satisfied with your edit before you go ahead and save them immediately you save them you can no longer get access to them um the previous content has gone but your views are not going to be reduced everything is going to be saved so once you've done this um it means it's final you cannot undo it and you can go ahead and save the video and then people will be watching the video just like that so i am not going to save this because i do not want the video to end like that i think i'm actually okay with where it started and where it ended so i'm going to reverse that also notice that when i reverse this even though without doing these card changes you notice it says it doesn't say save anymore so if i just move it to where it started and where it was before everything is just going to be like i just did uh, undo or control z so now i'm no longer going to be able to save it that is actually what i want because i do not want to save the video right there now another info guys how about this you actually want to remove that area where i wasn't talking to where i started talking i started talking from here and then i wasn't talking from this area that is actually after the intro let me show you guys so that you actually know what i'm saying so this is my intro right i play the video and then the intro end and the video started from here but when the video started when i started the recording i did not start talking immediately i started talking towards this area this is actually where i started talking here so let's play the video pay attention to the timeline so i started a video and i think maybe i pulled the chair because i think there was a sound here but it's actually not my voice but my voice started appearing from here so in order for people that are watching this video not to get bored i have to delete where i wasn't saying anything so that it remains where i was saying something so i keep people watching the video properly so all i need to do is actually you notice this area now this particular one i'm going to talk about is actually how to cut the video in between so to cut in between a video you need to actually make use of this one that says new cut now um, before i do that i'm going to zoom in by clicking on this plus icon i'm going to do that again so guys if you are a video editor you should know properly that wherever you do not have a sound is going to empty on the sound area now this is sound area you notice there are some objects right here there is visibility of sound there is sound visible right here but there is no sound around here and it's actually in the beginning so i'm going to get rid of that the ones in the middle are actually where i'm taking my breath or stop saying something so i think those ones are okay not bad so the um the youtube will know that i'm a human now um just make sure you click on the area where you want to start with and then you click on new cut 
Now, immediately you select new cut here, it's going to be this red, um, this red uh, object. So the first one is blue. The blue is actually where the video started and where it ended. But the red one is actually where it's going to remove. So if I'm actually going to click this, it's going to remove this part area. But that is actually not what I want. I want the remove to start from here. Hold on. It's moving, but I think maybe because of my network is quite slow. So um, I think around here, no, too much. This area is okay, and I want it to end around here. All right, I'm actually okay with this. So if you're done, just go ahead and click on this cut. So once you click on cut, it's going to be there. This is it right here. So it being here means that, okay, I've actually added it, and I do not want this area to be active. Now, if I play the video, just watch what will happen. It's going to jump from here and to the next area. Once you get to this area, it's going to jump and it's going to come to this area. Just watch. Just watch the timeline. Okay, so, uh, I hope you're able to see that, right? Let me go ahead and do it again. Watch the timeline. Welcome, guys. Right? It just jumped towards that area and started where it started saying something. So, guys, in order to prove it, let's assume you want to cut even more, please. But this particular one, I'm going to edit. I'm going to remove it. Let's assume you want to cut even more, please. You know, I was saying something around here. So, I'm going to cut this area. Just first listen to what I'm saying before I cut it. I'm going to be showing you guys how to claim uh, NFT app. Right? Hope you heard what I said. So, I'm going to cut that area. So, I'm going to select new cut. And make sure you have it on the timeline where you want to cut it. And then I'm going to move it towards where I want it to stop. Let's say right here. Now I'm going to click on OK. Do not worry, I'll get rid of that later. So let's start playing the video from here. But today I'm going to be showing NFT app. You notice it, right? Now, you notice I said today I'm going to be showing you, but then I actually cut off that area. But then... That is actually a mistake. So if you want to cut multiple area in between a video, all you need to do is to choose new cut and then you select where you want it to start and where you want it to end. It's going to start from there and it's going to end at the other area. That is if that is what you want. But guys, I do not actually want to cut this stuff. So if you do not want to cut a video section, all you need to do, or maybe you made a mistake, all you need to do is to select that particular area and then you hit delete. But if you are not able to hit delete by doing this, you can actually delete it from here. So let's say you click on this area and this area. You notice this one is the second one. You can just hit delete. And then, guys, if for some reason your editing is actually supposed to be cut from here to here, you can always do the changes by clicking on this pencil icon, right? Click, click on the pencil icon. It's actually being too fast. So let me just click on the pencil icon right here. So click on the pencil icon. And then you can now drag it for that. That is if it's what you want. I don't know why it disappeared, but let me do it again. Click on the pencil icon, it appears, and then you drag it further. So if you are okay, just make sure you click on this check icon to confirm, and then that is it. And also, how to know the particular section you are on. Pay attention to the timeline. Once you select different code, it's going to move to that particular code. So this is actually the code I do not want to delete, so I'm going to get rid of it by deleting it. So once you delete it, it's going to um, undo the cut on that particular section. So you actually need to confirm delete so that it's going to be sure that you really want to delete it. So I'm just going to say delete cut. So you just deleted that cut. So that area is going to play smoothly well when we are playing it. It's not going to jump. Right? Now, if you are done, guys, all you need to do is to click on save. I think I'm okay with the eight changes I made. Let me go ahead and zoom out to be sure that I did not cut the beginning area. Yes, I did not cut it, so I'm actually okay. Let me just confirm that before I save this video. Okay, it's actually correct. That is actually where, it's, where it ended. So, guys, um, another information before I start saving. Just know that whenever you are saving a video or whenever you are working on this video editor section, just know that this actually requires um, a fast internet and it consumes your internet because you are doing it on the web. So most of the times it's going to take some time 
um, saving or it's going to take some time doing all these changes. Whenever you notice that you are trying to make a changes and it's not reflecting, just know that that is your internet, not the device. So you just actually have to allow it to load and it's going to work. Also, you need a very good device to edit your video. If you have a very poor device, this is not going to perform properly. And you can also do this on your mobile phone, but because it's a mobile phone, it also might not be perfect. I think it's perfect on PC. That is the reason why I'm doing this on PC. So guys, um, if you have any question, leave it on the comment section. And next, I'm going to show you how to blur a video section on your video. So let's go ahead and click on save and allow it to process. So whenever you save the video, it's going to take some time, but just allow it to process. You can notice right here, it says, it might take few hours for your um, changes to apply. During this time, all viewers, um, will see the current version of your video you won't be able to make um, other changes to the video the original version of your video will be stored um, so you can undo the changes so go ahead and click on save okay hold on the original version of your video will be stored so you can undo the changes okay i didn't actually know this but i am just discovering this right now that is actually good so i'm going to click on save to actually have the video saved now the video is being saved um so you notice below it say your video is being processed so let's allow this to complete our process and then we'll come back and also know that whenever you are processing your video it might be complete but it won't um just go away by itself so let's just give it like um 10 minutes or 15 minutes and then come back i'm actually in nigeria so i have a poor internet if you are in uk i think you are going to have a very good internet so um, this might not even take up to 10 minutes let's say one minute or less so once after some time just go ahead and refresh your browser and if this is not showing that means our process has completed so let's give it some time to complete i am going to refresh right now to see if this is actually ready and i think it should be ready by now because it's already uh, more than 10 and the preview is displaying so um the next one guys okay for some reason it's still okay yeah it's fine so for the next one guys um i'm going to show you how to uh, blur an image so um for some reason it's not showing me the op option to blow an image right here and now it's saying um this video can't be blurred because it's previously trimmed i think probably because i just trimmed on it so it's not showing me an option to blow i'm going to do that on a different um i'm going to show you that with a different video Alright guys, that particular issue, just know that um, whenever you give you that option, just come back the next day or just come back some minutes later and you'll be able to start um, editing the blur. The reason is because um, most of the video I have right here, I have edited them before now um, for tutorial purpose also. And it didn't actually have any issue with that blur section. So I think the reason why it's giving that issue is because I just finished editing it. So all I needed to do is to go outside and come back again and I'll be able to edit the blur. And this is another video anyway. So now to start blowing a video, all you need to do is to choose this section where it says blur. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to start blurring out the image section, the test section rather. So I'm going to click on custom blur. Now I'm going to blow the amount right here. So you notice the blur displaying, right? Now, um, to move it, you can move it around. Now, you notice it displayed where the blur is starting from and where it's ending. So um, that is actually what you need to work on. And also, if you want the blur to be uh, rectangular or oval, you can select that. Scroll down a little to actually select um, track object. So now if you choose on track object, it's going to start from where that object started and it's going to stop at where that object started. But if you want it to have a fixed position, it's going to have that particular fixed position. So since I want this amount to be hidden, I'm going to move it up to 
that section and do not forget guys this is also making use of internet so whenever you move it to a particular section is always going to load up so you should always allow it to load you notice it's loading right here so you should always allow it to load so i'm going to like so so um i think um this is actually where the object started and this is actually where it ended so let's say uh we click on this area so and then we'll play the video one part, Watch. right and um you you want to you have some token on your own. okay i'm just going to move it to the area where i think i started um, displaying the amount okay it's somewhere around here right so if it's somewhere around here the video is going to supposed to be starting here so all you need to do is to move okay hold on i'm not sure exactly where it started okay that means it started from here so all you need to do is to move this timeline this blue area is actually the timeline where the blur started so you move this timeline to where it started i think it's around here now if you move the timeline you notice this area is also moving which means you can actually move this manually so let's say we actually want to um, make this 10 watch the timeline now this is 10 right but then i'm going to move it back to 28 because it's actually where it should be so now you can actually edit um, the length of the blur by using this area or using this area you can just drag the edge or you change the timeline it's going to get to that particular timeline so you should just pay attention to the timeline where it started and where it ended and you can do that so i'm going to come to this area right um okay the amount is still showing the amount is still showing and also guys make sure you have a good internet because when you do not have a good internet you might actually got into where you want to and you don't know that so i think it actually stopped around here so i'm going to stop it around here and you can see this timeline is 59 right if you move it further you can see different one but i think this is actually 58 so we are going to say 58 and you see it moved to 58 no let's do 59 because i think it's exactly 59 so this is exactly 59 so the object is going to move from that area to this area but since it's following the object i think is actually still moving to the wrong uh, location because towards this area it went up so it's thinking is actually going up so instead of that i'm going to do a fist blow position so that it won't be moving um around so now it's fist but it's actually fist on top so i'm going to bring this down i think it actually did not recognize the test because the test wasn't moving so it thought it was moving so now it actually ended here and then started somewhere around here i think because obviously since i'm making the video i am going to talk about this stuff and i'm going to come to that particular area so if there is another place okay um it's not showing any longer so if there is another place where i also added and i want to blow out all i need to do is actually to use um the blur icon to add more blood so to add more blur, move all forward click on the plus icon and the blur is going to display and especially it's going to display hold on you actually have to select if it's a face blur or if it's a custom blur so i'm going to choose custom blur and it's going to display so um, do not forget whenever it displays move it to the position or where you want it to display i'm actually looking at the screen because i want to see it properly but there is nothing um, there so i'm just going to like move it and uh, you notice it disappeared right it's not actually because it disappears it's still there but notice on this left hand area is loading so whenever it's loading it happens this way you will not see it for a while till it's finished it finishes loading so let's wait for it to finish loading and if this is going to take some time i'm probably going to have to pause this video okay it's done now you can see it so um i'm going to move it to this area so it's also going to load again and once it's done it's going to display so guys this is actually how to um, edit your blur and always uh, move to the exact location that you want it and do not forget if it's paste on is if if it's fist on track object is going to actually be moving around if your screen is moving around so if you do not want it to move around just leave it on fist object and it's going to be fist and it's not going to move so guys um this is all i want to show you on today's video and if you're done with your editing just go ahead and click on save so that is going to save and the next one i'm going to show you how to add music 
on your video but i am not going to save that particular one because i do not like having video music on my video i will tell you my reason so um instead of waiting i'm just going to go back and then i'm going to do this with a different video so um also another information i would like to share is this because this is using an internet just make sure that you have patience depending on what you are working on so far i have been working on uh two minute videos two minute video if you are working on longer videos like 12 minute video the time it took to render that video is going to be much so whenever it's loading that blur display it might take a lot of time so just make sure that you're actually ready for that so whenever it's showing that it's not going to immediately display it's going to like take a while before it displays so i'm going to edit this particular video that also has two minutes so um whenever you're working on or whenever you're editing your video make sure you actually give it some time to load up because this always takes it takes a while to load it doesn't always load immediately and display the information for you so if you're ready let's get to it the audio is loading up and the video is also loading up okay that is ready this is the video this is my video and you can notice i do not have audio in the video let me play it so you hear right there is no sound on the video now if i want to add the sound just move the timeline to where you want the sound to start and then you go to audio this is audio do not forget the audio is going to display somewhere around here this is music already so um this is going to load up the music of um, the music library on youtube and it's going to display all of them right here not actually all of them it's going to display like the first best one that is actually on the list it's going to display them and also it's going to choose the one that should be matching to your uh, timeline so i'm going to choose this one i'm just going to click on add to add any music click on add but to test or to play to listen to the sound of the music just click on play so it's going to play the sound and after i finish playing the sound you understand and if you prefer that is it you can you are good to go but you can also play other music if you want to and you can still scroll down to see more and if you want you can always search the library to get the music you are looking for but since this is a tutorial i am not going to do any of that i am just going to add any music at random so i'm going to click on add now when you click on add the music is going to be added but also don't forget that this is also going to take some time to load depending on your internet right now it's loading so once you finish loading okay it's finished loading oh, that's fast so once you finish loading you can play the music you can play the video to see how it plays along with the music now listen guys i am already talking but you cannot hear me talk because the music is actually over um the music is actually over um overlapping the uh my sound so it's overwriting my sound so you are only hearing the sound of the music not hearing my voice so um all you need to do is actually to reduce the sound that is always the first thing to do this area is actually where you reduce the sound so when you click on it it's going to show you the sound option or the sound volume to actually do um, to actually reduce it so once you have that just move it i think towards the end just keep moving i think this area is okay because that music is so loud now it's going to also render whenever you move um, this it's going to always render so just go ahead and play it to test it out you can hear it right so i'm going to still move it a little bit i think this should be perfect All right, let's play. You can notice you can still hear the sound, but it's still a bit loud because this sound is actually very loud. So all I need to do is to click on this area once more. And then I want to still move it further down because it's so loud. Okay. So this is going to render also and once it's done, let's play it. So there is actually more thing I want to do. Notice the video, do not forget, wherever it's blue is actually where it ends. So uh, hold on, let me play the video first. And we can no longer make use of crypto treasure. We can no longer um, 
yeah i think this is okay because the sound is still there but you can barely hear it so if it's okay to you to use this way that's fine if it's not okay you can always increase that um so that you hear the sound more but i'm actually okay with this but then i want this sound to actually start um like from where my voice started not from the intro so i want to move it from here to here so the sound is going to start from where i start talking so from where i wasn't talking which is actually the intro area is not going to say anything it's going to be mute on that area and then it's going to start talking from where i started talking it's going to start playing from where i started talking let's play it again hello guys welcome to today's video um trust for carpool and this is this is perfect so if you are okay all you need to do is to click on save and it's going to be saved and guys, I think this is actually the end of my video because I have shown you how to blur, how to cut in between, how to cut your video from beginning to the end. And also I showed you how to add music, which is this one. And the rest one is actually adding um, a card and adding an end screen. I think those ones have actually shown you how to do it previously before now. So there is no need for me showing you guys how to do that because even without the editing section, you can always add that. And also there is also a challenge whenever you are trying to edit a video and I'm going to resolve that on a different video. So if you have any question, please leave it on the comments or if you have any unique challenge apart from this, let me know on the comment section. I will hopefully answer to that and I will see you on my next video. Peace.